Do you know Marilyn Henry? No man, who's that? Marilyn Ann was born in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. She earned her BSN degree at St. Joseph Hospital, MSN from the University of Colorado, MA in Cultural Anthropology from MC Master University in Canada, PhD from University of Utah in Transcultural Nursing. Hello, my name is Marilyn Ann Ray. I am a nursing educator and researcher of caring and complex health care system in transcultural nursing. I am well known for the theory of bureaucratic caring which focuses on caring and organization as culture. My theory suggests that caring in nursing is contextual and it's influenced by organizational structure. For instance, ICU may have more dominant value for technological caring while oncology units may have more intimate spiritual value of caring. The main assumption of the theory of bureaucratic caring is that spiritual, ethical, political, legal, economical, educational, physiological, sociocultural, environmental, and technological aspects should influence the care provided. Furthermore, the meaning of caring was influenced by the role and position of person. Health staff nurses valued caring in terms of its relatedness to the client while administrators valued caring as system related. The major concepts. Caring is the connection between generosity and right doing. Caring with compassion is a response to human suffering, need, and justice or fairness in what should be done. It is unavoidable within a culture or society. The second one is spiritual caring. Spirituality includes inspirational and attachment, faith, love, and community. It is a holistic view of the body, mind, and spirit. It focuses on treating, caring, and healing patients as a whole. The third major concept is educational. It is utilizing media to demonstrate information relates to defining care. Throughout nursing care, patients are educated on what to eat and how to use mechanical aids to re reduce physical effort and making movements safer while their injuries heal. The fourth major concept is physical. Physical elements are directly connected to mind and body. Each element can influence one another. When clients don't sleep enough, their body might ache and thoughts process can be affected. The fifth major concept is socio-cultural. This includes ethnicity, family, and relationship structures. Communication, interaction, and support received through family and friends can have a great effect on care. As seen in patients in isolation, they can feel alone and depressed due to lack of communication. The sixth major concept is legal. As with all professions, there is a level of responsibility to follow policies and procedures. These practices have been followed to protect patients' health and privacy. The seventh major concept is technological. Healthcare has come a long way and it will continue on advancing with the help of technology. Innovative studies are done. New diagnostic tests and the medications are created and the knowledge and skill of nursing will always be necessary to use these resources. The eighth major concept is economic. Economic aspects like money, budget, and insurance policies pose limitations enforced by healthcare. This distribution of limited resources can conserve the economic capabilities of healthcare. The last major concept is political. The view of healthcare is influenced by many organizations, including unions, governments, and ins insurance companies. With all of these organizations fighting for contro control, prestige, and privilege, it leads to high healthcare costs and anxiety with patients who can't afford it. The meta paradigms of the theory are First, nursing. Nursing views patients in a holistic, spiritual, and ethical manner. The base of nursing is manifested through love, 
as it allows allows the expression of caring through health and healing of others. The next one is person. A person is a religious and cultural being. People are created by a higher power and, he, and this power is involved in destiny and relationship to seek meaning and worth. The third one is health. The meaning of health and illness, which is influenced by one's culture, can establish how they recognize feeling sick or healthy. This helps care providers understand the individual's goals to reach their interpretation of health. The last one is environment. Environment has the ability to shape the life of a person. It is intricate spiritual and cultural wonder. Nursing care provides the spiritual, ethical, caring, and social patterns of meaning.